With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi, so let's start the question. The question says, a freely falling body traveled x meter in n second. Distance traveled in n minus one second is. We are given four different options. X x plus g, x minus g, and 2x plus 3g. Okay, now so we need a figure here. So this is our figure. From the point A, our body is falling downwards and uh, towards the ground. Okay, so uh, it's since it's a freely falling body, the acceleration A acting on it would be equal to g. Now, since the body is uh, moving in the downward direction, we will be taking the downward direction as the positive direction. So, the acceleration uh, acting on the body is g, the acceleration due to gravity, which always acts in the downward direction and hence g is also taken to be positive. Now, the initial velocity u of the body will be equal to 0 since it is a freely falling body and at n seconds, okay, at n seconds, let the body be at the point, at this point. Let that point be equal to O. The distance traveled by the body is equal to X meters. Okay, so AO is equal to X meters. Okay, now at N minus 1 seconds, that is before N. That is, this is the N minus 1 seconds okay so in n minus 1 seconds the body has traveled a small distance which is less than x meter and we have to find that distance let this point be marked as b okay so we have to find a b now the distance traveled in n second for a uniformly accelerated body is given by s n is equal to u plus a into n minus half. Okay, where u is the uh, initial velocity, a is the acceleration, n is the second at which the uh, distance has to be found out. So, here it is given to us that in the nth second, the body travels x meters. So, s n is equal to u is 0, the acceleration a is equal to g, g into n minus half is equal to x. Okay, this could be written from the data given to us. Now, we have to find the distance traveled by the body in n minus 1 seconds. So, we will be using the same equation here. So, s n minus 1 equals g into instead of n we will be substituting n minus 1 ok so g into n minus 1 minus half so this is our second equation now the second equation can be modified a bit and we can write g into n minus half minus g okay so we have taken n minus half as one term and minus one as another term and then multiply the two different terms with g okay so g into n minus half is equal to x that is written in our first equation so we can substitute x for g into n minus half so x minus g so the distance traveled by the body in n minus 1 seconds would be equal to x minus g. So, our answer is x minus g. Okay. So, the correct answer is the third option x minus g. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.